Welcome Aquarius, I'm back guys with another video for y'all Alright, so this is my second time doing y'all video And uh, I hope we get this thing together this time, alright Newcomers, welcome y'all Y'all go ahead and click the bell to subscribe Y'all don't want to miss out, alright um, This is going to be a general read You got the Wheel of Fortune that jumped out So, perfect timing, the universe conspiring in your favor So let's see what we got going on, alright if you guys want to book a personal reading, that information is going to be in the drop box below. I am currently doing a three-card special for 1111. All right, so all that information that you need is going to be in the description box below. All right, so check out the description box. All right, so let's see what we got, guys. Let's see what we got, guys. Aquarius for the remainder of September. This is going to be how they view you and how you view them. Then we'll do a, a general uh, tarot read. So let's see how you view this person. Let's see how you're viewing your person. We got the chariot, the nine of pentacles, and the seven of pentacles. All right. So you could be viewing this person um, as you could be looking at this person with the chariot could be a cancer but you could be looking viewing the situation like this person is moving forward is making some type of progress um the nine of pentacles is saying that this person is very independent could very much so be single and the seven of pentacles like you're being patient you're waiting you're being you know you're you're i'm getting like something is saying like you're being patient why is the chariot card here Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person that you're dealing with could be extremely fine. Like the King of Wands, we know that he is very arrogant. We know that he is very much so sought after and adored. The Three of Pentacles is letting me know that um, this person very much so is working on themselves or building something um but they are most definitely putting action towards something and working towards something like they could be working towards something that they're passionate about um you see this progress in this person like and i feel like you actually you adore this person with that queen of cups like this person is always on your mind you think about this person a lot you think about them a lot Yeah, like this person got has your attention. Could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, like you watch this person. You watch this person all the time. You're spying on this person. You're watching them because you want to be with them. Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. With the Three of Wands, you're waiting for them to come towards you. And the Eight of Wands, yeah. Three of Cups. You're waiting for this person to come towards you. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Strength card. This person is very independent. You view this person as being very independent and strong, okay? I feel like you want to just rush towards this person. You want to just rush towards this person. And, like, you want a start. You want a fresh start with this person. This could have been someone from your past that messed up. Mine's the strength card, the moon, the six of pentacles, the emperor. This person, you would possibly give this person, um, I'm getting like, I'm not going to say you give them all control, but you possibly give this person, like you respect this person. You respect their work ethic, you respect how they carry themselves, you respect what they do. This person is constantly on your mind. You think about them all the time. And, like, this person has your, like, they got your nose wide open, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles. You're, yes, yeah, see, you're waiting for them to communicate with you with the Page of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. You're waiting for them to reach out. You're waiting for them to notice what, you know, notice you, give you, you know, reciprocate that energy that you're possibly giving out to them. But this person may be dragging their feet. They move a little slow. They're slow to commit with the uh, Hierophant. They're slow to commit. Why is the Page of Swords here? High Priestess. 
Someone, somebody here could be married. I just saw the four of wands, like, and I feel like this. I'm gonna be honest. Some of y'all might know that this person is married. Some of y'all might uh, know that this person lives with someone, or they have some other things going on. Here goes King of Wands again. Like I said, um, with the Three of Cups and the Eight of Wands, like you, you really want to connect with this person. Three of Cups, you want to be around this person. You like their, you enjoy their company when they come around. Why is the King of Wands here? Yeah, see the two of pentacles, somebody's juggling. But you feel like you're wait. I feel like you're waiting on your chance for this person. <laughs> you're waiting on your chance for this person. Like you you really want this person. But you also know that you have to keep your guard up and you gotta watch what you say. Okay. You feel like you gotta watch what you gotta say what you say to this person. But you this person could be separated, um, or they live with somebody and they're not they're not happy in their situation. Because you view this person as being single or independent. So, I mean, this person could be separated, live with someone, or they got their, they're got they doing their thing. They may have just gotten out of a relationship and you want this person, like you want to be with this person. How does this person view Aquarius? So how does this person view Aquarius? Let's see. How does this person view Aquarius? Okay, we got the judgment. See, yeah. See, they know that you want to be with them. Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. Ooh, that just wanted to jump out, didn't it? The Ten of Swords. Oh, so somebody... Oh, see, like I said, somebody could have be getting a divorce. Or they feel like... Somebody here needs to get a divorce, get a divorce or get out of a situation, out of a commitment they, that they are already in. Okay, and then we got the five of wands. Yeah. Why is the judgment card here? Yeah, make a final decision. So they're viewing you as if you need to make a final decision or they need to make a final decision. Okay, but someone here has to definitely make a final decision. They feel like you make them very happy. I'm not even going to cap. Like with the King of Cups and the, the Sun, you are definitely like bring a positive light and positive energy to them. Okay? They don't find, they can't find this nowhere else. But they have to make up, make up their mind if they want to be your man or woman because we got the Emperor here. Somebody has to make up their mind. See, with the sun card and the nine of swords, they think about you a lot, too. They think about you all the time, too. But they have to make up their mind. They have to make this final decision on whether or not they're going to be your man or your woman. We got the emperor. Why is the ten of swords here? The tower and... Ooh, the ten, the tower and the ten of swords... There's been an a, a, a out of the blue uh, ending here. Something happened abruptly. We got the Empress and the Three of Pentacles. There could, there's, I feel like there could possibly, this person could possibly have you in a third party situation. Okay. And somebody here is regret getting married to this, some, to this person. Like I said, I feel like for some, not for all, but someone here could be very much so married. Someone here is possibly ready to divorce or separate from their partner. Or they're, you know, like there's one foot in and one foot out is what I'm getting. Woo, why is the tower here? The high priestess. So their intuition is telling them they know that uh, there's a tower moment here. That it has possibly already occurred or getting ready to occur. Their intuition is telling them that when this when this comes out or when this whew, why is the high priestess here? Their intuition is telling them that something that they could build with you and work together with you. Um that this is their opportunity to, but they feel like they feel like that there is going to be a tower moment. Like there's going to be a shake up and, and an abrupt ending 
but they do want to be with you. We got the two of cups and the three of cups and the nine of cups. They do want to move forward with you. They do want to move forward with you. But why is this five of wands here? This five of wands is telling me that this is a, you know, this this ain't easy. Yeah, the eight of swords, um, the hierophant. Somebody here is stuck in some type of commitment, okay? That they have to fight to get out of eight of wands and the ace of cups. Somebody expressing, they want to express to you how they feel. They've been holding this in. But they have something, yeah. See, someone here is married. Someone here is still married or someone here is like lives with someone. Or you may need to check this person's intentions. Because see, this is wife energy. With the empress and the four of wands, I'm definitely getting like girlfriend. Someone here has a title. Or someone is, this is the mother card as well too. Um, but I'm getting that there's a female, there's another female in the picture. So they could be scared that uh, when if this comes out or gets out, that um, that's when this tower moment is going to happen. They want to talk to you and tell you how they feel, but they're holding it in. Why is the four of wands here? The ten of pentacles. I'm telling you somebody here is married. The Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. And this is them telling the truth. Okay? That there's somebody here is living two separate lives. Okay? Two of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Yeah. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. And somebody is doesn't want to leave or doesn't know how to leave. With the Death and the Eight of Cups. And this could be a karmic situation with that Justice card here. So let's do a general read. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got going on. All right, so give me a general read for Aquarius. And chariot. The Three of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Four of Cups, yeah, like, yeah, okay. So, somebody's not wanting, things aren't progressing how, things aren't progressing as fast as they could be progressing. Because we got the Three of Cups here. I feel like, why is the Three of Cups here? Yeah, we got the Devil and the World. Why is the, yeah, see the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. There could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn involved, okay? And there is possibly a third party. And that's why things aren't moving forward as quickly as they could be, Okay. Somebody here is using manipulation tactics, okay? And somebody is not telling somebody the whole truth. Um, I see that as well, too. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yeah, the Five of Cups. And, yeah, see, they don't want to tell. Somebody here doesn't want to tell the truth. I'm not sure if it's you or them. But somebody is not telling the truth or they don't want to tell the truth because they feel like they're going to regret it. That, like I said, there's an empress here. There's an empress here. Why is the eight of wands here? Somebody does not have the courage to tell the truth. Yeah. When they had the chance to tell the truth, they did and they kept they holding it holding this information back. Withholding this information. Why is the five of swords here? And the death card. Because they don't want to seem like they manipulated you, tricked you, or something in that nature. Okay. But I got somebody walking away. Yeah, somebody walking away in the future with the Eight of Cups. And abandoning somebody with the Five of Pentacles. Y'all got to make sure to check this, person, check this person's intentions. Because with the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, it's saying that somebody's 
God went ghost and left somebody out in the cold, okay? Somebody finally made their decision to leave. Yep, three of swords. Found out that they're part of a third party situation and leaving somebody heartbroken. Somebody's getting left heartbroken here. Why's the why's the chariot card here? Page of Swords. And see, like I said, I feel like y'all are spying on this person because you know I feel like you know that this person is a player with the Knight of Wands. I feel like you know this person be playing. But I feel like you still want I feel like you still want this person. With the two of wands, two of cups, you can't tell me that you don't want this person. You want this person back. This is somebody that you done been dealing with. You done been dealing with this for a minute. Your intuition, you already know this about this person. You already know how they is. You already know. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with y'all later, right? Ciao.